Over the last seven days, I spent £1,000 setting up an online vintage Depop shop. And here's why. It's 2020 and fast fashion is taking over the world. And it's really bad for the environment. And one way people are combating this is by buying vintage slash used clothes. I personally love vintage clothes and they've always intrigued me. How do these shops do it? Where do they get the clothes from? Why is it so expensive? How much money do they make? I had a lot of questions. And the only way we were going to get answers was by becoming one. So over the next week, I'm going to spend £1,000 setting up a Depop shop to see how much money we can make over the period of a month. Now, first things first, we needed stuff to sell. I just looked on eBay to see if anyone sells this sort of stuff on eBay. And I found this, which is a vintage Nike spell out hoodie bulk. So there's these four Nike hoodies, which to be honest, this one and this one don't look that good. But these two, I can tell they're going to be worth money. So from my little knowledge and a bit of research, I decided I was willing to pay £120 for these four jumpers. So I sent the seller an offer they couldn't refuse. However, they never replied. So my only choice was to try and bid. Okay, guys, there's literally less than two minutes remaining. The current bid is not. £91. I'm gonna enter a bid of 105. I'm gonna wait till there's like 15 seconds left. 27, 26. Oh, it's gone up to 103. Oh my gosh, it's gone up to 103. It's gone up to 112, 115. Place bid, place bid. Confirm. Ah, uh, 119. No, I think I lost. Ah, oh, I lost it. I bid 119, but someone managed to get that in just before me. I missed out by two pounds. Well, back to searching, I guess. So I searched online for a place to buy bulk vintage clothing that didn't involve bidding, because clearly I'm not very good at that. And after some searching, we had some luck. We sell vintage garments per kilo. Oh, uh, okay, so this is interesting. So as you can see, there's all kinds of stuff. So there's basically like packages. So you can get vintage 2000 women's flare trousers, a box of 25 kg. So there's all kinds of stuff. There's leave Levi's trousers, there's Levi's jeans. Okay, how much is this? Now, most of the sites won't let me see the prices unless I prove to them that I was actually a seller. So I'm gonna try and sign up for an account, but the only problem is I'm not a Depop seller. Well, not yet anyway. So on that note, it was time. I started my Depop shop and with that, Catfish Vintage was born. Well, Vintage Catfish. Catfish Vintage was taken. And to get accepted, I had to make it look professional. So I got my new merch logo, put it over some old newspapers to give it that vintage feel. And yes, I've got new merch, which is available now on catfishclothing.co.uk. I'll tell you more about that later. So with the Depop shop up, we applied. So now all we can do is wait. And after a couple of days, we got accepted. So let's see what we've got. Vintage branded knitted sweaters. 85 pounds for 10. Oh, there's different grades. Oh, B grade's cheaper. So I'm guessing that's more damaged because these are all secondhand. These aren't new. So I looked through looking for the items that I thought could make me the most money. From Disney jumpers to shorts to coats. All ranging in prices from literally £2.50 per item to £600 bundles. So if you didn't understand, just to explain, these are basically vintage mystery boxes. So you choose the category you want, for example, champion hoodies and you get sent a mystery box of the champion hoodies. You don't get to choose exactly which ones you get. You don't know which ones you get until you get them. So I decided I want to go for a good mix. So I went for some American college sports t-shirts. However, the minimum order is 50. That's 250 pounds. Okay, right. I'm going to add this to my cart. That's 250 pounds. Straight up. I then went for some unbranded college jumpers. You got to buy 30 and they're 5 pound each. So that's 150 pounds. It could be good to buy some unbranded ones and some branded ones and see which ones are the more popular ones. So we did. We then went for a champion hoodie bundle, which was the most expensive 400 pound for just 30 hoodies it's 12 pound each and the resale value is 20 to 40 pounds so that's a total of 880 so in this order we get 30 hoodies we're getting 50 t-shirts and 30 jumpers that's 110 items so with all 110 items in our basket we made the 880 pound purchase hey now it is done i've just spent 880 pounds <laughs> on second hand clothes I, I i'm speechless yeah for now all i can do is wait i literally feel sick so to summarize i basically just spent 880 pounds on three mystery boxes. I know this video doesn't have a sponsor, so I'm gonna use this moment to advertise my new merch. Yes, that's right. I have brought out new merch, completely designed by me. Yes. This great hoodie is limited edition. It's only available for two weeks on a pre-order, and once it's gone, it's gone forever. The hoodies are made by sustainable manufacturers. It's vegan approved. Basically, it's a really nice hoodie. So if you like the look of the hoodie and you want to support the channel, go to catfishclothing.co.uk. All the link will be in the description of this video. Go check it out and go get yourself a hoodie. But back to the video. But yeah, after a couple of days, we got an email and we then got a knock at the door. Alright, cheers, yeah. Thank you. It's alright. Oh my gosh. Look how much stuff we've got. This is exciting, but it's also very expensive. I really don't want it to be bad. I really hope it's good. This is the t-shirts I ordered. This is exactly what I see when I open the box. They're all just like <laughs> kind of thrown in there. Alright, let's have a look at this. The first one we've got is a champion t-shirt. That's kind of cool. University of Colorado. Well, that's a nice t-shirt. Okay, so t-shirt one. Honestly, I like this. I feel like we could get more than six pounds for that. Maybe like seven, <laughs> eight. Let's see what else we got. So I went through and I got some nice t-shirts from 
Nike to the NFL Ooh. to Adidas. It was going great. Well, until we got this. And this one says, <laughs> go. Oh, look at the football. The football's all kind of like cracked. I know this is vintage, but like they said this was grade A. And from here, it just got worse. What the hell? This is not grade A. Look at this. It's all like melted. I don't even know what's gone on there. That's not good. We then got this lovely Nike Air top. And on the back, it says Andrew. Andrew number seven. Who's Andrew? Uh, this just isn't going to sell. And for this one, well, just look at it yourself. What is this? Someone's literally wrote on this and splattered red paint all over it. What the hell? This is not vintage. It's got someone's name on the back and it's splattered in red paint. Look at it close up. It's so bad. No one's going to buy this. Yeah, at this point, I was having so many regrets. I'm going to lose so much money on this. However, there was light at the end of the tunnel. Thankfully, the rest weren't so bad. I went through all 50 and overall, I actually got some nice t-shirts. From a Brazil t-shirt. Brazil. Brazil. To Nike State t-shirts. To put it simply, we had a lot of t-shirts. And when I say a lot of t-shirts, I mean a lot of t-shirts. Zona Nation. It'd be cooler if it said George Mason Nation. And finally, the last t-shirt out of the 50. Please be something that's going to give me a bit of money. Oh, Golden State Warriors. Okay, this could actually be worth money. I mean, actually, it definitely couldn't. It's got holes in it. How is this A grade? Oh my gosh, look at that. Look, you can literally see my finger through it. This is not grade A. We have been scammed here big time. We then moved on to the jumpers and after the t-shirts, my expectations were low, but we straight away got off to a good start. Okay, this is actually nice. BYU. It's got like a high quality, like a pink finish. Okay, you know what? Already, I think this is more promising than the last one. So once again, we went through the box and to my surprise, we actually got some really nice jumpers as well as some, let's just say, interesting ones. We even got an Armani jumper. So we went through the rest of the 30 jumpers and I was impressed. They felt way higher quality and they just felt like they were worth a lot more money. All right, we're on to the last one now. Literally the last one of the box. Ooh, this is nice. This is sick. And with that, that is it. That is all we've got. Now, we're still waiting on our champion jumpers, which might arrive tomorrow. So yeah, all this stuff and all that stuff over there came to a total of 480 pounds. So logically, the next step from here is to list the items. So I've got to take photos, describe the items, and then list them. Oh, it's going to be so long. There's literally 80 items. This was a two-man job. So I got my cousin Alfie to help me go through. We tried, but the items were just way too creased. And it kind of shows in the photos and it doesn't look that appealing. Like if you want to buy something, you don't want it to look creased. I had to make it look good. So I got the steam route. Literally, look how effective it is. This side's been steamed and this side hasn't. Look at the difference. It looks mad. And then I slowly but surely made my way through the 80 items. Okay, so we're now 10 down. We've done 10 and I've run out of hangers. So I'm going to now take photos of these ones that have been nicely pressed and aren't creased. So that's what I did. Boom, there we go. I then put the t-shirt on and modeled it. Depop gives you the option to save the draft. So I'm going to post them all later when I actually research the prices. But for now, we've got the photo. Time to do it for the rest. We then repeated this whole process again and again and again, making sure every item looked perfect, removing any bubbles, cutting off any loose strands. And honestly, it took so long. All right, guys, <laughs> it's currently 11 p.m. I've been doing this steaming thing since 3 p.m. And I've done 20 items. These are all the clothes that I've steamed and took photos of. And these are all the clothes that I still need to. Why did I think this was a good idea? All right, so it's now the next day. As you can see on my depot, we have 20 drafts. So first thing today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post these 20 drafts just to get our store up and running, hopefully get us some activity. And then the rest of the day, I'm going to work on the rest of the stuff. So I tried to research the items we had, but I had no luck. I can't find any of the ones we've got, which could mean they're rare. I think I'm just going to list all the t-shirts for 15 and all the jumpers for 30. First item, this green t-shirt. It is ready. Post. It is done. Our first item is out there. Catfish Vintage is officially live. Now I've got to do the rest. So I went through the rest of the drafts. The ones I thought were worth a bit more, I put the price up. And the ones I thought were a bit less, I put the price down. And I went through one by one and posted each item. 20 down, 60 to go. So I spent the whole day going through steaming once again. Guys, we're slowly but surely getting through. The pile's getting smaller. These are all the ones that are done. And after working all day and all night, we were finally done. I've taken all the photos I need to take. So tomorrow I can list them all. <sighs> this process is so long. All right, so it's now the next day. We've got 44 listings in our drafts that I need to post now. I've already posted 20, so that makes 66. And we ordered 80. However, 14 of them are just not good. The website literally says grade A quality. These 14 are not grade A quality. They've got holes in them. They've got rips. They've got stains. So I'm going to try and tell the company about that. And I'm hoping they should give me some sort of refund on them items. But yeah, now all I've got to do is list these items. So I went through and listed each one of the 44 items until we were done. All our posts are listed. Literally, look how many there is. There's like 60 on here. We've gained ourselves seven followers and I followed them all back. And we've also got quite a few likes, as you can see. Quite a few people like our stuff, but no one's bought anything yet. So yeah, now all we can do is wait and hope that someone buys us stuff. Because if 
not, I'm going to lose a lot of money. <laughs> so in an attempt of getting some money back, I phoned the supplier saying certain items weren't good. Uh, let me check your order. Then we're going to email you. We're going to sort your program. Sort your program as soon as possible, yeah? He then did follow up with an email saying that I can return them items and we would get refunded for them items. Which I'll take. It's money back. Money I would have never got back if I tried to sell this t-shirt. All right, guys. It's been about an hour. I've just checked my phone. And someone sent us a message about an item. Oh, my gosh. Could we get our first sale? Oh, it's on the Chicago Bulls jumper. Hi, could you do 20 pounds including postage and package on this? It's up to 30 pounds plus 4 pounds postage. And you're asking to get it for 20 pounds. That's literally nearly half price off. The thing is, for 20 pounds including postage and package, I would make profit. But I feel like this is one of the few jumpers that are actually worth the money. So I want to make the money I can because a lot of this stuff probably won't make any money. In fact, it'll make me lose money. Sorry, can't do that cheap. I can do 30 pounds including postage. Please buy my jumper. Be my first customer. Oh, we got a reply. We got a reply. Could do 25. She's gone from 20 to 25. I reckon we go for 28. Meet me halfway. 28 pound question mark. I'll have a think about it and get back to you. Did I just get greedy and lose my first customer? No. So I was kicking myself. We turned away a customer for the sake of three pounds. Like we weren't already 880 pound down. What was three pound gonna do? But just as we were at our lowest, we struck luck. Oh my gosh, guys. I've literally been downstairs. I checked my phone. You just sold an item. Catfish Vintage has sold their first item. The Carolina jump has gone for 30 pounds. Yes. We've made our first sale. First sale. Ba, 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 ba. We're still 860 pound down, but things are looking up. That jumper cost us five pound and we just sold it for 30. 25 pound profit. I'm gonna go to sleep now, but tomorrow we head to the post office and send off our first item. So today we need to go to the post office to take our first order. However, first, I've gone deep on this morning and we've got messages. So the first one is about the Brazil t-shirt, which is 15 pounds. So I was wondering if 40 pound plus shipping would be good for this top and the balls jumper. So the jumper's 30 pound and the t-shirt's 15. It's a five pound discount. I think that's a win. So as you can see, we've got the bundle here. We've got the Brazil t-shirt and the Chicago Bulls jumper. 40 pounds. And just like that, we have got our second sale. Yeah. Now we've got to go to the post office and send the items. Now here's the thing. I really wasn't prepared for getting two orders this far. The day I uploaded everything, I made an order for some eco-friendly compostable mailing bags. However, they hadn't arrived, so we had to improvise. I found an old paper bag I had to bear in my wardrobe, so I used that. That'll do the job for one. I'll do the bundle order in this because I can fit two items in here easily. And then I also went to my nan's and got her to wrap up the other package in brown paper. And I even threw them in a DIY catfish sticker. A couple of catfish stickers in there. We then weighed the parcel and printed off the label. And we were then ready. We went to the post office, handed over the parcels, and it was done. All right, and that is all the packages sent off today. And that was pretty much all that happened that day. However, the next day came around and we got a knock at the door. It was the champion package, the 400 pound package. It's here. Literally, look at it. Let's get stuck in. Here's what it looks like, a lot of gray. Let's see, the first hoodie we've got here, Milwaukee Mustang. It's okay, I mean, I'd pay 12 pound for that. So once again, let me run you through what we got. We got some really cool, unique hoodies. However, just like the last two parcels, we also got some bad ones. Ooh, that's not good. Look at that. Oh, what is that? That is not grade A. It looks like it's been ran over. Well, that's gonna go into the returns file. We then also got this. There's a print on the back. It's cracked and it's all peeling off. That's not good. But thankfully, those were the only standout bad ones. I went through the rest of the box and got some really cool jumpers. Different sizes, different colors, different designs. We got it all. And yeah, we got a lot of hoodies. But yeah, that is all the champion hoodies we got. So yeah, now comes the fun part of getting all of this, steaming it, and taking photos. So that's what I did. I spent the whole day steaming and taking pictures. And whilst I was steaming and looking closely, I actually found quite a lot of damages. Not quite the grade A quality I was hoping for. So we put that stuff to the side. We carried on. And after hours and hours, we were done. We have finally done. Everything is now done. So here's what we've got. So over here, we've got all the clothes that I've taken pictures of. I steamed. They're all either on my Depop or in my drafts. Then over here, we've got some more. Then we get over here and we've still got loads of clothes, but these are the return clothes. So for example, this one's got a broken zipper. This one's got a hole in the arm. This one's got stains on it. In total, there are eight hoodies that are damaged. So we're going to return them. So yeah, we're going to get refunded some money for that. So we won't be as negative, but hopefully tomorrow when we post the new champion stuff, hopefully the orders come flooding in. So the next day I went through my drafts and posted all the champion hoodies to my depot. And we are now done. Here is how Catfish Vintage is looking. Literally, look how much stuff's on here. And we also officially completed our first sale. It's come today, mate. Really happy with it. Thank you. Yes, our first order is officially complete. The customer has received it. They're happy with it. Catfish Vintage rated five stars. 
I'm a five star seller. And after being rated five stars, that was the end of our first week. And so today's the 30th of August. It's been one whole month since we posted our first item on the shop. So it's time to see exactly how much I made from investing £1,000 on vintage clothes in the space of a month. Now, I was going to show you this daily, literally filming myself what the life of a Depop seller is like, but I'm not going to lie, it was kind of boring. Literally, what you just saw, it was just that, but on repeat. So I'd get some messages, I'd reply, they wouldn't buy anything. And then someone would buy something, I'd go to the post office, and literally just repeat. So yeah, I'm going to summarize it for you guys here. So here's the spreadsheet we've made. I'm going to show you everything one by one. So the total money we spent came to £836. And I know what you're thinking, George, you spent £880. Well, I've minus the money we got from refunds. So as you can see, we refunded 15 items and we got £90 back. For the champion hoodies, instead of refunding me, they just sent me new ones. So I complained about eight of them and they sent me 14. So I did a whole nother unboxing, but I'm not going to show you that because you've already seen three. You get the idea. So we didn't get any refund, but we did get a whole new box of hoodies. And I also tried to clean the other ones, which actually kind of worked. So now let's look at how many we sold. So first off, t-shirts, we sold three. Yeah, only three. Considering we bought 50, it's not a very good conversion rate. The t-shirts were the worst selling item of them all. And that's the item I bought the most of. Clearly, I had no idea what I was doing. Next, we got the jumpers we bought and we sold a total of six. Yes, that's right. The 30 jumps we bought actually worked out really well. However, they weren't our most popular item. So moving on to the final item, the hoodies. We sold a total of eight. Yes, that's right. The most expensive item, the champion hoodies, were the most popular. I guess the price actually warranted it. So from the t-shirts, we made £45. Yeah, considering we spent £300 of them t-shirts, that's still a £164 loss. That's a big L. Next up, the jumpers. We made £157, which is a lot of money, but we did spend £108 on this box. So it actually works out as a £23 loss. So again, another However, we have still got stock. So all we need to do is pretty much sell one more jumper and we should make our money back. And then finally, the hoodies we made a total of £226. But as you all know, we spent £400 on that box. So despite making the most money off it, we still made the biggest loss of £173. So yeah, despite selling the most out of any category, we still took the biggest loss. This video is just a big L. So in total, including Depop tax, we made £386. And if we minus that from the money we spent, our profit is minus £449. Yeah, making this video has made me lose £450. We have still got a load of stock. As you can see, we sold 17 items and we've still got 83 left. So I think Depop selling might be one of them things that just takes time. It's not instant money. You've got to be patient and eventually, fingers crossed, hopefully, I'll make my money back. But yeah, overall, the last month as a Depop seller has been really interesting. I want to say I've enjoyed it, but it has been a lot of work. Being a Depop seller is literally a full-time job. So will I continue doing it? Probably not. I'm going to try and sell the rest of the stuff I've got. And once that's gone, I think that's going to be the end of my Depop career. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, catfish hoodies are out right now, literally for two weeks. And after that, they're going to be gone forever. So if you want to get yourself one of these, they're all going to be hand-packed by me. So you'll get the full Depop experience. And speaking of Depop, if you liked any things in the video, make sure you head over to Catfish Vintage or Vintage Catfish. I'm going to put all the prices down once this video is out, because honestly, I just want to get rid of it. So go over there, check it out. But yeah, guys, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's been George Mason over and out. Boom. Did someone say catfish? Yeah, that's me. I look six foot, but I'm five, five foot three. three. Take a look at my Insta and you might see a model, a rich kid, but that's not me. I just know my angles and how to pose when in reality, just look at my nose.